who you thought was cool. I mean, he was handsome, sweet, smelled good, and I don't know, a great listener. And then a few weeks later, he turns out to be a stage three clinger. I mean, stuck to you like glue. Basically, the guy turns out to be a complete mess. Well, I'm going to help you to avoid such situations. That's if, uh, by talking about a guy, you're actually talking about a cake. Yeah. So, welcome to Lovely Sweet Cakes. My name is Malaika, and I am a self-taught uh, cake artist, designer, and baker. And this is vlog number one in my Lovely Sweet Cakes adventure. So I'm hoping that you'll come along for the ride. Vlog number one is how to keep those cakes from sticking to your pans. And here we go. Okay, so these are the things that you're gonna need. The first is a one cup measuring cup. Then I use a butter knife for smoothing the flour and then you need a large bowl for mixing the ingredients together and then lastly you need a hand mixer for mixing the ingredients together okay and uh, next is the ingredients okay so now for the ingredients so we're just going to be using three simple ingredients for this process. The first is all-purpose flour. Uh, the second is uh, vegetable oil of your choice. I choose to use grapeseed oil because we think it's healthier and that's what we like to use around our house. And then lastly, you're just going to need some shortening. And it's actually just going to be equal parts of all three of these. Next is the oil, so we'll add that. So before I found this recipe online, I was spending a fortune on nonstick baking pan sprays because I'm basically too lazy to grease and flour my pans the old-fashioned way. <laughs> the great thing though about this recipe is since I started using the mixture, I haven't had any issues with my cake sticking to the bottoms of my pans. What I usually do is I cut out a piece of parchment paper and use it to line the bottom of the pan and then I use a pastry brush and brush on the non-stick pan mix all over the sides of the pan as well as the bottom of the pan over top of the parchment paper using a silicone pastry brush. And if you find that your parchment paper starts to move around while you're trying to brush on your pan mix, I just usually brush a little bit of the pan mix underneath the parchment paper between the paper and your pan. Uh, and then uh, I find that that does a good job of keeping my paper in place and preventing it from moving around. The other great thing about this pan mix is that it can be just stored in your pantry in an airtight container at room temperature and it will last as long as the expiry date on your flour and whenever you're ready to use it you can just pull it out of your pantry use your pastry brush to give it a quick thorough mix just to make sure all the uh, parts are still incorporated together and then just use your pastry brush to uh, brush it inside of any pan that you are using uh, for any of your baking projects. So this is a really simple and easy recipe that I absolutely love and I hope that it will help you as much as it has helped me. Luckily, this is way easier than freeing yourself from a clingy boyfriend.
I purchased these chalkboard jar labels at Michael's for about $3.50 and then I also purchased the airtight jar from Michael's as well for I believe about $7 and uh, they would have actually been a lot cheaper if I'd actually remembered to bring my Michael's discount coupon. I should have just gone online and printed it out because uh, apparently you can do that um, but um, it still ended up being not too expensive. I love putting things in my pantry in just really cute containers just because it makes the whole pantry look nicer and it just creates a really nice atmosphere for when you go in there. It just keeps the whole place looking really cute. Okay, so this is just another helpful little hint. Um, I actually do this a lot of the time when I'm making cupcakes. It is actually put everything that I made into a Ziploc bag and then I just cut off the tip. That. and then I just use it to squeeze everything into the container that way it makes a little bit less of a mess and this is enough pan mix honestly to last you like well, I guess it depends on how many cakes that you make, but for me, it definitely lasts me a few months. There you have it, non-stick pan mix. So, it's as simple as that. And when it comes to freeing yourself from a clingy boyfriend, in my experience, the best policy is number one, honesty. Just tell him where to go. Uh, or, if that doesn't work, brutal honesty really tell him where to go and if that doesn't work then you can always ghost them i guess that's what they do these days if you can't find it do you even exist anymore so have a great day and thank you for joining me on my lovely sweet cakes adventure see you next time please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and definitely put a like on there thanks bye so have a great day and thank you for joining me on my lovely sweet cakes adventure. See you next time. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and definitely put a like on there. Thanks. Bye.